Hey, what's going on, nerds? Got another video here for you today. This time I'm reviewing mini box gaming. So these are game boxes with the original game art that you can put your games back in, just as if you were to buy it from new. But the catch is they're mini, right? So I have a bunch of N64 games I had laying around, and I saw this product on the Metal Jesus uh, video, on the YouTube video, and I decided, oh, fuck, I want those. So I ordered them like that night, I, but I couldn't find a review on them. I couldn't find anywhere that had a review. So in this video, I wanted to just break it down, show you everything I have, how I how I got it, and how it looks, right? And uh, but first, before we go into that, I just want to give a shout out to the company. Period. Like how awesome they are. So four days ago, I ordered these, right? So today is February first. I ordered these on January twenty eighth, right? And so. I think I was giving my kids a bath. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was ordering. I was kind of going quick. Well, I ordered Mario Kart, Mario 64, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and James Bond. All great games, right? But for whatever reason, I ordered Mario 64 instead of Perfect Dark, right? I don't have Mario 64 for N64 right now. I know as a gamer, like that's not okay. But I don't know where my cartridge went. Uh, I don't know if I sold it as a kid or whatever. But right now, Mario 64 is like $60. $60 right? I'm not paying the $60 for a game I already have on Switch. And I'm never going to actually play on my N64. However, I still like the box art. So I order it. And I'm going to read you this email that I wrote. Okay, So I realized right after I ordered it, I made the mistake. I did not put Perfect Dark in my order. But I put Mario 64 in the order. So... I said, hello, I ordered four boxes and accidentally or ordered Mario 64, but I meant Perfect Dark. I would like to keep Mario 64 on my order as it's a happy mistake, but I'd like to add Perfect Dark. Is it possible? Please let me know how I can pay for it. Thank you. So I just emailed the company saying, hey, basically, I want to add Perfect Dark, but I don't, I don't want to cancel my order. Uh, six hours later, okay, this was at 11.50. January 28th, a bit later, but whatever, no big deal. It was, it's, it's within, it's cr crazy time that he's even emailing at the time. I didn't expect anything until the next day. But he goes, he goes, I'll add Perfect Dark free. Thanks for the order. Boom. Like, not even a thought. He just shot me Perfect Dark for free, all right? Obviously, I'm not a big YouTuber. I have 28 subscribers, so you know they're not trying to get me to to uh, push this stuff out and get it for, uh, for free. But you know what? Uh... I'm going to stop with the B-roll here, and I'll let you see uh, how these things actually look. All right. So I was going to do an unboxing, but that seemed kind of silly. It's just uh, he put it, he did ship it, or the company did ship it in a nice, nice, sturdy box. All right. And everything came in there, you know. Okay. We've seen unboxing videos. All right. Moving on. But if you check these out, this is how they came. All right. So the Mario 64... I'll show you this a uh, comparison to this this in the cartridge, but it came just like this with this plastic film around it and the box underneath. And the quality, oh my gosh, the quality is on point. All right, so we can look at all the different sizes. Oh, get the glare out of there. It's just for five dollars each. This is it's unmatched, right? And check out the back. Keep getting my glare in there. That's how good it is. There's there's a glare. It's so shiny. It's so it's so nice. But here, do the Scott the Waz movement that he does. It's just everything looks beautiful. I, I I'm blown away. I am absolutely blown away. But here, all right. So we'll move on to Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64. Okay, and I'll show you the comparison. Well, here's a car that came with the box. All right. How to put it in and out easy okay but here's a comparison of the size of the cartridge right mario 64 uh original right and the mini mini cartridge okay so here let me they fit it will fit absolutely perfect like that is just wow all right Once again, $5 a box. Well, actually, as I'm sure I told you, 
um, cheaper than that because he gave me the perfect dark for free. I'll show you that email and everything here in a minute if I haven't already. I'm trying to get it. You can see everything right. Just quality is so amazing. Tony Hawk put tons of time into this. I don't know why, but I like the N64 version better. I guess that's just what I had when I was a kid, or I still have, right? So let's again compare compare the sizes. Uh, my Tony Hawk's a little dirty, but I uh, I like to keep things the way they are. Like I keep my receipts for everything. Kind of tells a history, right? So there's a little goo on that, but that's my goo from when I was a kid. I know, <laughs> weird, but. It, it's a story I want to tell, all right? You know, I see the Activision on there, probably owned by Xbox now. Well, will shortly be. Oh, my God, look at those pictures and the graphics. Man. And then, of course, his logo down here. Miniboxgaming.com. Check them out if you want to do this to your collection. I only did a handful of mine, only my favorites. All right, ones that really made my childhood. Just so good. Absolutely amazing. I wish I, I knew how many hours I put in the GoldenEye. It, it's gotta be around 500. As a kid, that's a lot. Lastly, Perfect Dark. Here's one he gave me for free because he's such an awesome dude. Wow. Just looks so good. And the, it just feels really sturdy, too. Like as sturdy as a, uh, a box can feel. Right? It's something that you would have thrown away as a kid. Obviously, I did because I have none of these. But, oh, man. So good. It's just so good. So happy I picked these up. All right, I'm going to attempt to put this in right here so you guys can see it. See how easy it is. And if I have struggles, you'll see it. But I'm also trying to do this on camera, so it is a little easier than what, what you see me do. A little corner popped in. Okay, you gotta be careful little tabs. See these tabs down here? You gotta be careful they don't stick. Slide it in, boom, in. Okay, let's drop the tabs. Make sure those are in, in, in. Put the top in. And remember they're a little smaller, right? You can see my hands. I don't have monster hands or nothing. I mean, they're regular size hands. I'm having a little bit of a problem here. If I start the plastic first, it'll go. There we go, yep. That's all you have to do. Buttons up nicely, as you can see, good to go. Tony Hawk's in there. Now he's safe, he's protected forever. All right. All right, now they're all stowed and put away and here's how they look on my shelf with the rest of my gaming collection. Oh, my small gaming collection. Nothing huge, but I really wanted to put these these in their cases. They're in a case. You can see they're all right there. Next is probably gonna be uh, Mario and Duck Hunt. I mean, that one probably needs it more than anything.